Welcome to Guildfest with Unison. We're here because Unison's main aim is to be accessible to people who work in the public services. If we're going to be accessible, then we've got to be where people can see us. And today at Guildfest in the sunshine, there's thousands of people here seeing and talking to us. First off, I just wanted to say what an important and uh, bold initiative I think it is for Unison to be uh, headline sponsors of this festival. Uh, and I think it's a really, um, I think it's a really important move. Uh, and I think it's an important move for a whole range of different reasons. Unison's activity and culture has always been there, it goes up and down, but it is going to grow. We're at a lot of events like this today, not just here, we're here, we're at Tall Puddle, we've got a group of people at Oxford Pride, we're at Brighton Pride in a couple of weeks, we've been over to Canterbury. So yeah, we're all about this region, taking part in the people's culture. Trade unions have got to be part of everyday life for people. Trade unions aren't something that's separate, we're part of people's life and if we don't become part of their culture, we won't become part of their lives. It's a, uh, it's a union, public services union, Phil. It's a public service union, Phil. I bet that's useful. It's very useful if you're getting sacked, mate. Is it very useful when you get sacked? I don't and know. Uh, do they help you with your paying conditions and any troubles that might occur during your working day? All that sort of thing. Yeah. Absolutely well covered, mate. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. You ought to join. I should do. Is there a, a um, uh, you know, union for knife throwers? So I could, as a knife thrower, I could join Unison. Yeah, I was going to say, you've got a lot of surgeons. Well, that's brilliant. Guys, we could join Unison. If you get a chance, come down to the Unison Zone 10. We will. Have you got a card? We have more than cards in the Unison. That's superb. That is superb. No, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll be down there. Uh, Woody Guthrie was the great hero of us all, and he sang union songs uh, forever. And my father was a trade unionist in Glasgow, and uh, he was very active, and he taught me the poems, and, the, and uh, he didn't sing much, but he taught me the poems of the trade union, and if it wasn't for the unions and music coming together, the, the world wouldn't really know a lot that, that they do now. Uh, and of course Billy Bragg is a great hero in the country I think he speaks up for the working man and I do too OK, this is Terry Walker, who's just rocked the uh, ENTS 24 stage. And Terry's a good, a good friend of the trade union and anti-racist movement. Terry, what do you think about the Unison involvement at Guildfest? I think it's brilliant because it's getting young kids and everybody, you know, that wants to listen to music involved and also, you know, touching on the subjects that we really need to really think seriously about, as in i.e. poverty, i.e. racism, i.e. as you're saying, drugs. I think it's a brilliant thing because music always gets people together and when people are together, they listen. <laughs> you know?
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Before you go, I want you to remember one thing. If you want to get your voice heard, as we're in the unison tent, if you want to get your voice heard, get yourself a great big PA like that. Or failing that, join a trade union. growing up, forgetting that, you know, to belong to a union is a proud thing. The people actually died to make a labour movement in this country. And, uh, and all of that should be reinvested in our young people and in our time. And I think that, you know, people should join unions. Absolutely. Right on. I have to say that Unison is supporting Guildfest and um, I, I just think it's especially good for young people to start learning about unions. Obviously you have the big tent here um, for people to come in and just uh, learn a little bit more about it. I know that I wasn't too clued up on it and it's um, very useful to just be able to come in and pick up leaflets and just read a little bit of literature on it. Lots of kids can't join Unison because they don't work for public services. What this has enabled us to do is to promote trade unionism, encourage people who can't join us but to join other unions. This has been a fantastic recruitment tool, not just for us but for, for trade unionism in general. Too many people see Unison and other trade unions in a very negative light. And what I think is the case is that many of the things that we campaign for, the things people here are actually interested in, they just don't see trade unions as being relevant to, to achieving it for them. And I hope that what we can do by, by putting on uh, events like this at places like Guildfest is to actually make those links so people can see trade unions not just in workplaces, and there's a valuable work we can do in getting them into trade unions in workplaces, but see the union and unison as something that's at work in their communities and campaigns for issues that are important to them. Um, I really enjoyed my time at Guildfest. I spent yesterday doing surveys to festival goers and I was really impressed about how many of them know what fair trade products are and how many of them purchase them. It's really good. I had a good response uh, to people when they're asking about trade unions that they are actually interested in what we're doing and, and why we do it but they're also interested in, in the social justice issues that we're interested in as well so that's actually, that's been really good. Um, my role at Guildfest um, this weekend has been to give out the balloons so my contact has been with um, very young people and I've found that it's been very easy to talk to them and get them to understand what a union is and basically prepare them as new members for the future. For me the highlight is getting people in who are Unison members who come in sort of say hello and they go away thinking hey I'll become an activist as well I've seen this I've seen it in my hospital I can do something about this and to hear that from Unison members makes it really worthwhile for me. Hard work but it's really enjoyable the one good thing that I really really enjoyed was talking to a guy from Nepal, Ram, who's doing a lot of hard work out there for uh, children that have no parents. And we've linked him in into the international debate, and so therefore we're going to have an international lead there, and that's really been good for me. It's been really exciting. I've um, been out doing surveys, and I've been working with all the other members of Unison, and I've got on so well with all of them, and I've just had such a good time. 
people will just know you listen now. They know what they do and they know how they can help them. Things like that. They're like, and the existing members can come in and get help if they need help. And just it just sort of publicises the whole thing, really. It's been phenomenally great to actually get engaged with um, young people, older people, just everybody from sort of like all walks of life at this festival. And it's something that I think Unison should be doing time and time again, not just at Guildford. Let's get to Reading. Let's get to some of the folk festivals, you know, some of the bigger gigs. Because, you know, as the weekend's gone on, more and more people have been sort of like really inquisitive to find out what, we, what, what we're all about. And that has really worked for me. Brilliant. Great. Up for Unison. Well, I've just had a brilliant time here. This is the first time I've done anything like this for Unison, and it certainly won't be the last. It's been an absolute blast getting to know the people across the groups in Unison, the young members, the officers. It's been absolutely fantastic, but mainly it's been giving the name of Unison out to the families that I've been dealing with here. It's been an absolute blast, and I've really enjoyed it. We've been on the front gate quite a lot, so we've met a lot of the punters as they come in. Had a good response for, from Lee Putin, yeah. uh, bringing people in. Um, I think uh, it, uh, it's very important for uh, for Unison to be involved in community events like this, so people recognise that yeah, trade unions are part of everyday life. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I really enjoyed the day because I was really surprised how... Um, um, how nice and welcoming the people were, especially when we were doing the leafletting. People oh, were yes, really nice. They were very they were cheerful. It was a really nice day. It's a really nice and atmosphere. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I think this, I think it's a brilliant event for Unison to be involved in because obviously, not only, not only does it um, um, raises our profile, it makes us it makes us reach the community at large, which is very very good. And I really enjoyed it. A lot, and of people have been, again. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking us who Unison are and what they're about. I think a lot of people have been surprised to see us here. So it's been good, raised our profile definitely. But watch out, we're going to be back again next year. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really good. Yeah.